Today, quick video about how to convert time units in milliseconds to BPM and vice versa. Now, let's start with a number box. We can clamp its values from 40 to 200, which are pretty common uh, range for BPM. And send it to an expression. In parentheses, we want to divide 60, so the number of seconds in a minute, by the incoming value. Then we take the result and we multiply it by 1000. And here you have uh, your beat duration. If we have 60 beats in a minute, each bit will be 1000 milliseconds long. From here, you can, of course, divide this number by any number you want. Let's say that we want to find the quarter note. So we divide the number by uh, four. And here we have the quarter note duration. Of course, you, it's up to you to experiment to generate even uh, irrational groups by dividing the beat number by even numbers such as 7, 9, and so on. Now, what if we want to come back to the BPM time? The expression is pretty similar to uh, this one. I'll say that it's the same one. So we can copy and paste it. The value of 60 is this time divided by the uh, time unit in milliseconds and multiplied by 1000 once again. Here we have 60 BPM, which are 1000 milliseconds each bit. And here, once again, 60 BPM. Now we are converting this uh, BPM to milliseconds since the default time unit used by PD, it's milliseconds. So if you want to generate, let's say, a sequencer, uh, you have to use a metro or you can use a metro. Um, and it has as time unit by default milliseconds. So from here, we can send the time unit in milliseconds to its right inlet. We can apply a toggle to trigger it on and off. And here a bang. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If so, I invite you to give a like and subscribe to support the channel. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.